your subconscious mind and marital problems ignorance of the functions and powers of the mind is the cause of all marital trouble each using the law of mind correctly can solve friction between husband and wife by praying together they stay together the contemplation of divine ideals the study of the laws of life the mutual agreement on a common purpose and plan and the enjoyment of personal freedom bring about that harmonious marriage that wedded bliss that sense of oneness where the two become one the best time to prevent divorce is before marriage it is not wrong to try to get out of a very bad situation but why get into the bad situation in the first place would it not be better to give attention to the real cause of marital problems in other words to really get at the root of the matter involved as with all other problems of men and women the problems of divorce separation and ailment and endless litigation are directly traceable to lack of knowledge of the working and interrelationship of the conscious and subconscious mind the meaning of marriage marriage to be real must first be on a spiritual basis it must be of the heart and the heart is the chalice of love honesty sincerity kindness and integrity are also forms of love each partner should be perfectly honest and sincere with the other it is not a true marriage when a man marries a woman for her money social position or to lift his ego because this indicates a lack of sincerity honesty and true love such a marriage is a farce a sham and a masquerade when a woman says i am tired working i want to get married because i want security her premise is false she is not using the laws of mind correctly her security depends upon her knowledge of 147 the interaction of the conscious and subconscious mind and its application for example a woman will never lack for wealth or health if she applies the techniques outlined in the respective chapters of this book her wealth can come to her independent of her husband father or anyone else a woman is not dependent on her husband for health peace joy inspiration guidance love wealth security happiness or anything in the world her security and peace of mind come from her knowledge of the inner powers within her and from the constant use of the laws of her own mind in a constructive fashion how to attract the ideal husband you are now acquainted with the way your subconscious mind works you know that whatever you impress upon it will be experienced in your world begin now to impress your subconscious mind with the qualities and characteristics you desire in a man the following is an excellent technique sit down and lay in your armchair close your eyes let go relax the body become very quiet passive and receptive talk to your subconscious mind and say to it i am now attracting a man into my experience who is honest sincere loyal faithful peaceful happy and prosperous these qualities, which I admire, are sinking down into my subconscious mind now. As I dwell upon these characteristics, they become a part of my inner embodied subconscious. I know there is an irresistible law of attraction and that I attract to me a man according to my subconscious belief. I attract that which I feel to be true in my subconscious mind. I know I can contribute to his peace and happiness. He loves my ideals, and I love his ideals. decree that she possesses the following qualities and attributes she is spiritual loyal faithful and true she is harmonious peaceful and happy 
We are irresistibly attracted to each other. Only that which belongs to love, truth, and beauty can enter my experience. I accept my ideal companion now. As you think quietly with interest on the qualities of the attributes, which you admire in the companion you seek, you will build the mental equivalent into your mentality. Then, the deeper currents of your subconscious mind will bring both of you together in divine order. No need for third mistake recently a teacher said to me, I have had three feelings and all three have been passive, submissive, dependent on me to make all decisions and govern everything. Why do I attract such type men? I asked her whether she had known that her second husband was the feminine type, and she replied, of course not. Had I know, I would not have married him. Apparently she had not learned anything from the first mistake. to question, waver, doubt, and vacillate, she reminded herself that the infinite intelligence was bringing it to pass in its own way and 150. That there was nothing to be concerned about. Her final decree and her divorce proceedings was granted which brought her a great sense of release and mental freedom. Shortly afterward she went to work as a receptionist in a doctor's office. She told me that the minute she saw the physician she knew he was the man she was praying about. Apparently he knew it, too, because he proposed to her the first week she was in the office, and their subsequent marriage was ideally happy. This physician was not the passive or submissive type, but was a real man, a former football player, an outstanding athlete, and was a deeply spiritual man though he was completely devoid of any sectarian or denominational affiliation. She got what she prayed for because she claimed it mentally until she reached the point of saturation. In other words, she mentally and emotionally united with her idea, and it became a part of her in the same way that an apple becomes a part of her bloodstream. Should I get a divorce? Divorce is an individual problem. It cannot be generalized. In some cases, of course, there never should have been a martyr. In some cases, divorce is not the solution. and wrong for another. A divorced a woman may be far more sincere and noble than many of her married sisters who perhaps are living the lie. For example, I once talked with a woman whose husband was a dope fiend, an ex-convict, a wife beater, and a non-provider. She had been told it was wrong to get a divorce. I explained to her that marriage is of the heart. If two hearts blend harmoniously, lovingly, and sincerely, that is the ideal way of the heart is love. Following this explanation she knew what to do. She knew that the heart that there is no divine law would compel her to be 
alternated in the reading of the Psalms every night. Their marriage is growing more beautiful every day.